Hello, this is Raymond Aaron, New York Times top 10 best-selling author with advent number 9999. We're at 9 already on our way to 16. Instead of opening each day of December and getting a little chocolate, you're going to open each day of December and get a chocolate of wisdom from me. A chocolate of wisdom, the sweetest education that you could ever get. And there's no calories. It's wonderful. And today, what is today? Today is about be kind. Be kind. Oh, man, that's so important. Be kind, be sweet, be loving, because you never know. You never know. And I remember one day, one day, I taught high school in Toronto for two years in the regular public system. And about six years later, I was working at my office, and I get a phone call, ring, ring. And I pick it up. Hello, Raymond Aaron. Yeah, it's me, Bill Smith. I don't remember the guy's name now. And he said, do you remember me? Well, I know as a teacher that I'm not allowed to say, no, I don't remember you. Because if someone is my student and I don't remember them, they'll get crushed. Because you look at your teacher all day long for the whole year, but the teacher looks at 30 of you and really likes four or five, remembers 20 or so, and forgets the other five or so. And so I've learned not to crush people. I've learned to say, oh, yeah, and then let them go on. He said, remember me? Oh, yeah. He said, you said I could never make it in math, and I was so mad at you that I decided I would go to university and study math, and I was going to call you, and I'm holding my math diploma in my hand as a graduate of the university, and I just graduated, and you are my first call. Ha! I did it. You were wrong. I felt horrible. All those years, that guy was hating me, and his hate fueled his ugly passion to prove me wrong by graduating as a mathematician. Maybe that poor guy should have been a writer. He should have studied journalism or poetry or humanities or anything. And from my comment, he studied math. Now, I, I can't believe I said that. I, I was a math teacher. I, I can't believe I would have said that to somebody. But he heard it somehow. Maybe I actually did say it. I don't know. Whether I said it or he heard it, there was an unkind message received by him. And that caused him to possibly go on the wrong route for six years and maybe for the rest of his life. I remember in a spiritual path that I once studied, they had a three-point rule for deciding if you should say something. And I want to repeat it because it's apropos in this subject. And the three rules were... Is it true? Is it necessary? Is it kind? Is it true? Is it necessary? Is it kind? So let's say you're talking to somebody and they're considerably overweight. Is it true that they're overweight? Yes. Is it necessary to say, wow, you're fat? No, it's not necessary. Is it kind? Absolutely not kind. And so you get two strikes against you. You don't say it, even if it's true. And I screen what I say against, is it true, is it necessary, is it kind? In fact, I usually just use the screen, is it kind? And I'm not always, I don't always get a passing mark. I've said things that aren't kind. And not at all to blame my mother, but... My mom wasn't kind to my dad. She yelled at my dad so many times every day. I'm not exaggerating. Every single day she would put him down and mock him and make fun of him. And that was my growing up years. From age 0 to age 16, there was 16 years times 365 days times four or five or six times my mom yelling at my dad, putting him down. And so I learned how to put people down. It's not a very good lesson. It's not a very nice thing. And you may have been in an audience in which I said something unkind to the audience or to an individual. And I regret those. And I'm stating the lesson in this Advent lesson, be kind, not because I'm perfect at it, but because 
I'm intentionally getting way better at it and am way, way better at it. And I want you to also be way, way better at it. So I always end these with a way to get better or to do the thing that I'm discussing better and just to be aware of it, just to be aware. You have a sense before you say it that you're saying something that may not land well. Like if you're just talking chitter chatter, chitter chatter, see the game last night, weather's lousy. When you're saying that stuff, you know there's no probability of being unkind. But then all of a sudden you get to a point where you say, oh, this is a bit sticky. In other words, you know when it comes, you have a moment of consciousness. And in that conscious moment, just say, is it kind? If it isn't, don't say it. That's my thought. And that's my advice on how to do it. And I am doing my own advice because this is one in which I am progressing up the hill as fast as I can because I'm not as high on the hill as I want to be. So I'm being totally transparent with you. And tune in tomorrow for the next Advent Idea.